What's up, everybody? Happy Monday. Um, good to see all you guys. Um, today, we're going to go over the plan for the week, um, and then we're going to go over some notes and things. Just We, we got notes that we're going to cover, so we'll cover half of them today, half of them um, when, when we do our, our meeting on Wednesday. So, <clears throat> showing you guys where I get this stuff. The learning plans, uh, I had some people saying that they weren't getting notifications um, like that I was putting assignments up. And it wasn't just me. It was like, I know social studies is having the issue. Um, and I think it's just a Schoology issue. I don't, I don't think there's anything, um, you know, that I could do differently. And it is just some people, because some people are and some aren't. So uh, we talked to, to Miss Morgan. They're trying to get that all sorted out. So um, I, anyways, every, everything I give you guys, I try to send it uh, to you guys as a message anyways. So, um, you know, you should get a notification that you got a new message. Um, and if not, uh, just make sure that you guys are checking school, especially if that, if stuff like that's not working. Um, let me pull up the plan for this week. And I always have the plan posted as, um, like you'll see two of them, right? But they're the same thing. One's just a word doc and one's a PDF. I know like mobile likes PDFs a little bit better. So that's why, that's why there's two of them. Um, but yeah, just looking at this, we got today, um, we got a video on the elements of literature, uh, part one. So I'll go over half the notes just because I don't want to bore you guys this long. Um, we're going to talk about memoirs and then um, we'll, we'll get into The Great Rat Hunt, which is a short story. Um, it's a, it's a nonfiction story. It's a memoir. Someone's sharing a, an event in their life. And it's one of my personal favorites. It's really good. Um, your assignment for today um, you're just going to go through the text and annotate it just like you did um, last week. So here's the elements of literature PowerPoint, um, the Great Rat Hunt pre-reading packet. And I need to link the, the Great Rat Hunt text. But right now, let me show you guys um, where to get that. So if you go to reading materials, you'll see a folder for the Great Rat Hunt. And this is for every short story read set up the same way. And then... Um, the Great Rat Hunt full text, which I am going to open because we'll get to that later. But I'll, I'll send that out uh, today so you guys have that because I didn't put it in the plan. Um, so, yeah, you'll go through the text and annotate it. Um, annotations are going to be exactly the same um, as they were last week, same directions. And every time we annotate, they're going to have the same directions. Um, and I'll say that you guys did a really good job with your annotations. They're, they're just tricky, I think, for some people to get especially the first time, because I think a lot of times we're, we're looking for, okay, you know, what was my teacher looking for? Like, what is the right answer that they're looking for? And that's not the case with annotations. It all depends on your experiences and how you um, connect to the text. So I saw some, some okay ones and, and I saw a lot of really, really good ones. The more context that you can give for your annotation, the better, right? You don't want to underline a passage or a quote and say, this reminds me of my, of my uncle. You know, it's not enough. G give me some context. Why? Why? What does your uncle do or, or what happened in the text that, that get, made you think of that connection? Um, so <clears throat> two things here, the PowerPoint, which we'll get to in a minute, um, Gray Rat Hunt pre-reading packet. I will show you that because you're going to start. Okay, this first page, um, we won't do that today. That'll be for, for tomorrow, I think. Let me make sure I'm saying that right. Yeah, that'll be for tomorrow, but that's really self-explanatory. You're just um, copying down, typing in de definitions because we will have an assessment on those later. Um, and then just answering these pre-reading questions. All of these are based on your personal, your, your opinions, basically. Um, and then you, you'll see the annotating form is exact same. Uh, nothing's changed on that. So then you only got to do six of them, right? I'd like you to use different categories, though. So that's that. Tomorrow... Um, Tuesday, office hours from 125 to 215. Those are, let me get rid of this junk. Those office hours are like always, they're, they're optional. Um, if you don't have any questions, you don't need to come in. Um, complete the first page of the Great Rat Hunt pre-reading packet. So those definitions and then the, the pre-reading questions. Wednesday, um, we're going to finish those notes, okay, on the elements of literature. Um, talk a little bit, discuss the Great Rat Hunt as a story. Because by that point, you should have, um, you know, read a little bit already you know kind of as you're skimming through doing your annotations definitely got to read it um for that <clears throat> and then you have your assignment for that day listen to the great rat hunt audio and that's not 
that's not mandatory, right? I'm not, not going to say you have to, to listen to it. If you just want to read it, read it, okay? I'm not going to micromanage how I do that. I love audio versions of stories just because I can listen to them while I'm doing something else. So a lot of times I'm cleaning the house, doing laundry, folding laundry, you know, sweeping, sweeping the house, whatever. And I'm just listening to something I got to listen to for school. It makes me a better multitasker. So I got that link if you want to, if you want to do that. Um, and then you have a memoir sheet, which, which uh, we'll talk about more Wednesday. Okay. I'll go through the directions, but this link just real quick, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, it's the same link for every like, story from the textbook. They're all listed here. So on the left-hand side, um, here's all the story titles. So here's the great rat hunt. You click on that. And there you go. And then he starts playing. So that's for, for all of them. And, and then they do work. Um, that link works like you can play them on your phone. I've done that before. Uh, Thursday, you'll get like the post reading test in and it says, te it's not a test. It's just a comprehension check uh, for the text. Um, and you can use the story to answer the questions, everything. Submit that. Uh, Friday, I'm going to do that 9 to 10 office hours. Um, I'm committing to that. Uh, and then a quick write. So the quick write might change. It might be, um, I might do a discussion based on the text. I think that'd be a good um, opportunity to do that. Uh, a couple things that kind of not related to, this stuff, you know, just, just some random things that I've thought of during the week. Make sure that uh, when you submit assignments, um, submit them, go to the main page, or let me go to my courses, sorry. But you guys uh, on the materials tab, and, and um, but you know what, most of you guys are still doing this or doing this, which is a good thing. Um, your assignments will be here. Please, please, please submit them through there, okay, because um, some people are still emailing me assignments. Um, some people are like sending them to me through message, the, the, the messages, which is fine. I get them either way, but then sometimes I might see the email and then forget to put your grade in. Right. But if I go through this right here, I grade it automatically and there's no, um, errors. Cause, cause again, I'm still teaching in person. So I might get that email while I'm in third hour with my in-person kids. And then, um, you know, it kind of gets buried. Um, now, some of you guys were like, it's not letting me submit school issue, this, that, and the third. That's fine. If that's the case, get it to me however you can get it to me. But um, unless there's like an, a technical issue, uh, try to always submit that stuff um, through Schoology if you can. So going back to the plan, let's get this elements literature PowerPoint. So this should be a lot of stuff that you already heard in sixth and seventh grade. So I'm not going to I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but it's stuff that kind of constantly is going to keep coming up. Um, elements of literature. Let's let this load. So the plot, um, this is the basic structure of a story. And, and we might have a little quiz on this at some point. It'll be open notes, super easy. Uh, basic structure of a story. Um, plot has many parts, you know, think of the beginning, middle and end, you know, and my son, uh, he's in kindergarten, that's kind of how they're breaking down stories. Um, but it's often organized into the story plot mountain. Um, characters and setting, characters, people, animals, or imaginary creatures that take part in the action of a story. And then the setting is the time and place in which the action happens, okay? Um, time's really important. A story set in the 1920s is going to have a really different um, feel than one set in 2020. Um, so it's important to establish those things. Vivid descriptions are used to establish the setting, and that happens early on in stories because um, it sets up for you as the reader. It sets up your expectations, okay, for what you expect from that story. And then this is blurry, but let me zoom out not that much um this is you know that that basic story plot mountain that i'm sure you guys have seen plenty of times so we start off with the exposition um and then we have what's called the rising action so several events right and this usually takes the longest in the story um establishing characters and conflicts um and then we have the climax which is they call it a crucial decision um the usually the main character usually has to make an important decision or um, take some type of action that's going to change them. 
Uh, and that, that's where that, that growth in stories come from. And then after the climax, we have the falling action, which is um, usually really brief and, and a lot of times hard to separate it from, from the resolution. Um, but that comes after the climax. Then we have the resolution, um, you know, which is how does the story end? How is it solved? And then we'll break these down. So the, the video, if you guys want to watch it, um, I'll let you do that. I'm not going to play it and then just kind of sit here, right? Uh, here's the link for it. And it's just like this real, this short, it's only a few minutes from, um, it's a character from Monsters and Mike and Sully. And in the video, they, they stop and they break it down and they say, you know, here's the uh, here's, uh, exposition, rising action, um, climax, falling action, resolution. And it's only a few minutes long. So it's a, it's a really kind of brief and easy way to, to see that in action. Uh, so the exposition, <clears throat> it's the first step on the story plot mountain. The characters are introduced and all these things are established, okay? The mood, the tone, setting, characters, and point of view. So the mood and tone, um, you know, if it's a, if it's a horror story, if I have a really different mood than, than one that's meant to be humorous and more lighthearted. Um, the tone is kind of the author's attitudes. Um, the setting, again, the time and place, you need to know that as early as you can. Um, establishes the characters and you'll know who the main characters are, who are the secondary characters. Um, and then the point of view, whether it's a first or third person point of view, because uh, that again is crucial in your expectations and how uh, the story is told. The rising action, um, the conflict is introduced. Okay, so we know what what's going to be the conflict or struggle in the story. Um, and then in the rising action, again, it's going to be several steps. It's not going to be one thing that you can pin down as the rising action. There's a series of conflicts or events um, that keep the story moving forward, okay? It's going to make the characters have to make choices and take action. Um, and then most stories, and this is true, spend the majority of time on this stage because this is the most important. Um, the climax and the payoff and things kind of depend on the rising action. Uh, and then we had a climax, the most intense part of the story. It's a turning point for the main character, and the decision will be made that will change the character's path. Um, and then we'll stop there for today, and we'll cover the last three on Wednesday. But um, watch that video. You know, if, if you get some time, I'll put it in your um, – it is a reminder today so, so people can do that because it's good. I mean, it's silly, but it's good. It's a good video that, that breaks that stuff down. A um, couple more things I wanted to talk about over here. Um, with the, this memoir sheet you'll have to do and then this pre-reading packet, I tried to make them all Word documents. That way you can open them. And I think they should work on Google Chrome or anything like that. You can copy and paste them at least. But that way you can type straight into them. Um, and you're not having to handwrite everything for the post reading test, you'll have to handwrite it. And that's, we'll talk later about that, but you can, you can just kind of make, make up a form to fill your answers out. Um, but I did want to talk about this story. Um, Great Rat Hunt. It's a memoir by Lawrence. Yep. He's the author and he's also the main character because he's telling a story about his life. Uh, let's read a couple things. Um, childhood asthma. When Lawrence, yep, the author of section was a young boy. He suffered from a respiratory disease known as asthma. Um, what words and phrases come to mind when you think of asthma? And I know for me, I had it um, growing up. It's not an issue anymore, but it was, it was like a big deal during sports. I know like when I was, would wrestle, I'd have to like run in between periods and go, um, you know, take my inhaler so I could breathe and get, get through, through competitions and things. Um, write your answer on the word. You don't need to do that. Uh, so this, this little part I'll read here, talking about a memoir. And we'll talk more about this on Wednesday when you guys have to do this form. It says it's a form of autobiographic writing, which autobiography means you're telling a story about your life. It's a story about your life, but you're the one telling it. Um, in which a person tells about events from his or her own life is called a memoir. Um, they're told from the first person point of view. That means that they are the main character and they're the narrator. They're the one telling the story. Um, using first person pronouns such as I, me, and we, and that's a dead giveaway that it is first person point of view. And we'll, we'll talk more about that as the year goes on. But, you know, just if I'm saying I am doing this, he looked at me and said, you know, using words like I, me, uh, that, that gives away what point of view it is. In a memoir, narrative reveals how she, he or she feels about events and people. Um, and then as you 
read the great rat hunt look for passages that reveal lawrence yep's feelings um more of that stuff we'll talk about on wednesday but i do just want to make sure you you know where that text is um again going back to the plan that was it for today get your annotations done today um and then tomorrow first page of the pre-reading packet don't submit that um actually yeah disregard that don't submit your annotations today okay once you have the annotations that's why it doesn't say submit and the first page done then that pre-reading packet is done then submit that and it'll all be counted as one assignment um that, that, that i'll grade all at once um and again office hours tuesday um we should be good until um wednesday and other than that just make sure like i said that you're submitting things through schoology uh that that way it's easier for me to see them um and then other than that i'll see you guys uh wednesday